What is going on guys, today we're going to be looking at Flashback Magidi. Obviously, if you haven't seen, we've had a Irish SBC for St. Paddy's Day. Um, obviously, you can only do it once, so you've got a choice out of Magidi, Coleman, and I can't remember the final player. Obviously, that, that one will come to me. There's another player, I can't remember what he is. Realistically, for me, Magidi was the only choice. Um, the other two are three-star, four-stars, obviously Coleman right back. We've got a few right backs in the Prem now, so I don't think there's really much point. Magidi looks a good super sub. Five-star skiller, four-star weak foot, um, high medium, five foot ten. Some really good stats in general. Um, pace is very nice. 91 acceleration is, is good enough for me. Um, 80 finishing on the on the base wasn't good enough, so a sniper has definitely had to be put. Um, you've got 99 agility, which is fantastic. Again, 83 composure. I feel like it could have done with a boost, and it's why I've gone with the sniper option, just to make sure everything else goes up that little bit more. We then have 91 balance. Um, he does have 99 long shots as well. Um, and the rest of the stats, just looking at overall, looks decent. Passing-wise, again, it's it's average, but I mean, as in it's, it's a higher average than normal. That's something that I like. He's got good pace, shooting, and dribbling. And then the passing's an added bonus. Physical-wise, again, not bad, to be honest. 90 aggression, 81 strength. I can deal with that with a left mid. So I'm interested to see what he does. Um, obviously, English 2 uh, Championship. Links with Rooney. Links with Davis, the SBC card. Um, unfortunately, the, 80 Mur uh, the 88 Murphy card that was put into there um, as the third pick is a left mid. So you would have to kind of pick one or two um, unless you played like a free at the back formation and had a left mid and a left wing. But again, I don't see many people playing that. Um, so we're going to jump into this first match. Hopefully, yeah, he's going to play and we'll see how he goes. We're coming up against a league on squad. Um, again, very nice. Unfortunately, he didn't do the 88 um, striker. He's only got the 85 by the looks of it. So uh, let's get into it. He's got Van der Sar and Malcott as his two players that are obviously not league on. Um, and everyone else, let's see what we can do. Into Magidi. Pass it off to Conte. Back into Magidi. Cheeky little bit of skill. It's going to get caught. Heel to heel. It's gone a bit far. Bruno's got it. What a goal from Bruno. Absolutely takes it off him. And then McGeady's uh, got the assist for that one. And I feel we've got ourselves a rage quip. Obviously, he was trying for the objective. And we've got our full team out. 75 possession in the first seven minutes. It's a good, good start. So going into the next match, we are now coming up against... Okay, looks like a better team. Ligon, BPL... Okay, we've got Thierry Henry, Cubo. He's done the Vidal card. Vinicius Jr. Very, very nice team. It'll be interesting. I feel like he'll go with maybe a, maybe four at the back in-game and then change Luis to a CDM. That could definitely work with Militao there and already uh, Diego Carlos. So, again, another... Well, a, a first good opponent here. We hopefully can see McGeady pulling out all the stops as well as, obviously, Bruno. McGeady. I find is already his dribbling. I know I've only had a couple of touches with him. Is very, very quick. Into McGeady. Great pace. Few step overs. Across goal. Why didn't he go for Daniel James? Oh, McGeady going for some skills there. And again, great save from Neto with that one. Lovely little turn into space and a very, very good save from Neto himself. Big boy header from Virgil. Cannavaro on the end, not quite getting the shot that I wanted though. McGeady. Oh, gets tackled by Luis. Oh, it's got some aggression on him. You can definitely tell that. Vidal's going to take it off him this time though. Very good on holding the ball as well. I don't know if it's just a, maybe a little bit of luck as well, but decent at holding the ball. Good dribbling. I quite like him already. Maybe a super sub in the makings. Um, obviously, Troy Ray, Cubo, and uh, Kent hold them spaces. But if uh, he keeps impressing like this, maybe we could see a future uh, super sub for the moment. Oh, and Bruno. McGee doesn't manage to get the touch, but Bruno definitely does. Again, taking his shot. Bruno scoring back-to-back -back game goals. I love him. I absolutely love him. He's stealing the review away from McGee every single time. He's 
the offside. Gets the turn. Oh, that's a lovely turn as well. Just offside. Manages to get the lovely little uh, kind of outside scoop. Was probably going to go for a, uh, a finesse shot there or maybe another fake inside. McGeady winning it back still. We're going to go with a little cheeky McGeady spin. Drag back inside. Let's get a cross on the go then. Little dink in. That's a great ball to Zidane. Daniel James. Oh, should have took a touch. Definitely should have took a touch with that one. Into McGeady. It's Bruno. That, that Again, I probably should have took another touch. Getting a little bit overexcited there with McGeady's kind of little run in. Oh, playing it very, very close. Half time, McGeady doing very well. Um, I feel like Bruno's taking thunder, but we're definitely on form with this one. Really happy with his performance so far. Oh, he's done me. And it's a solid save from Allison. Completely sold me with that second drag back there. McGeady winning it back. Plays it into Zidane perfectly. McGeady, oh, hitting that crossbar. That was a sweet strike. Into McGeady, it's got to be. Bit of pace, hits it. What a save. What is going on? Oh, we couldn't get anyone close enough. Ah, oh, and he's managed to get it in the 84th. Good goal. It was coming. I must admit, second half he played a little bit better. Um, we've managed to kind of get a few shots on goal, but not really enough to say I've kind of warranted getting past the keeper. And that's the game. Unfortunately, big L on that one. Um, obviously, 2-1, constant pressure. I don't count the third. We're, we're going all out for it, so it's fair enough. But again, not a bad performance from McGeady. We had a lot of shots. Really, really uh, tested his keeper out, but just not enough to get the goals. Bruno stealing his uh, little bit of thunder there, but we will jump into one more. Going into this match, we are coming up against, okay, La Liga squad. Uh, again, a lot of people still not finishing the prime icon um, objectives yet. We've got Bartra. Realistically, I can't see a striker there because obviously I think Odengard would be the guy. He may make some super subs. He may just leave straight away. But Bartra most definitely is not scoring against me whatsoever. Odengard, on the other hand, I quite like his 87. I think he's something different. He's got a little bit of a nimble feet on him. That could be the move for him. McGeady. Oh, gets the drag back, but doesn't get the angle to then go in for that shot. He's going to go for a great ball into Guedes. He's going to get that goal, isn't he? Wow. Okay, we've given him a cheap-ass goal into Bruno. Oh, McGeady tackled from behind Mbappe. There's the goal. McGeady literally going for that shot. Gets kicked in the heels. It goes back to Mbappe. And we're back to 1-1. One, one. Into McGeady. He's got to be on the pace there. McGeady. It's a great save from Testegan. Probably should have just went round him, to be honest. Here we go. McGeady's leading it. We see Bruno on the other side. Chip it across to Bruno with a header. It's a great block. A uh, great assist from McGeady. Bruno getting ourselves his, what, third goal in three matches? Lovely stuff from him. Into Mbappe. And it's another goal. 3-1. McGeady with another assist into there. McGeady. Oh, he's going to get a bit of trouble. He's managed to get past it. A little bit of a fake shot. Fake shot, finesse, hits off the post. Daniel James comes in and he is offside. And that's the game, 3-1. McGeady with two assists in that one. Still didn't manage to find himself a goal, but in general, he played really well. His dribbling is fantastic. So let's get into the overall. So going into the overall review for McGeady, honestly, not a bad card whatsoever. Played really, really well in the matches. Um, in terms of dribbling, fantastic. Really nice agility. He just feels very quick on the dribble. Um, definitely something that I've really wanted in this card. Brings me back to him. Also, we do have traits now as well. So that'll be included in reviews as well. Just to see if they actually do anything. Um, in terms of, does it really show this person? 
flair, playmaker, technical dribbler. I'd say it's pretty accurate. Um, I'd, I would have said speed dribbler as well, but I'd, I'd need to compare him more to Neymar just to see how well he dribbles in terms of the pace as well. He, he seemed really nice to turn. Left analog stick was fantastic, but most definitely more of an assister than actually a goal scorer. So that's always something you learn from a card. I like to try and really put them through their elements in every single kind of role and definitely became more of that cam left mid role more than a striker in my opinion. But overall, not a bad card. 85 rated team with one in form. I think it's coming in 70 to 90k, um, give or take 10 or 20%. Um, I think that's pretty good for this sort of card. If you want like another championship card and it sets it up mainly for team of the season when we do get a championship squad, He's pretty much what a championship level team of the season used to be or was last year at the very least. So you've got one less player to worry about there, especially with Rooney, the 88 Murray, if you really wanted to change and go for someone different. Um, and also, obviously, that Davis card, who potentially team of the season worthy. I don't know a championship, but overall for McGeady, personally, I'm giving him a 7.5 out of 10. As a speed dribbler, I'd say he's up in the nines. Really, really good with uh, agility and actual dribbling ability. But as an overall, 7.5, I feel like he's about right. He's about an 80k card. So for me, I just don't see him competing with Neymar's level of left mid. But definitely as just a, a fun, different player to play with, I'm very happy with him. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to get all the notifications on, make sure you press that bell button and I'll see you all for the next one. Click.